Hello everyone, I'm just getting it up on my iPad. Yep, the family's looking in the background. Just give me one second. Yep. My family ain't quiet. Just a heads up. Yeah, we, we are live people. Oh, hello, Di. So, tonight we're going to do a canvas. It's the best is what I can describe. So, um, let's get started. While my mum and my younger brother argue in the kitchen, quite badly. Yep. Privacy ain't a thing in this house. Here we go. Hello, Dean. Uh -huh. Well, while you wait for your computer to come to, we're going to get started. Well, hello, Trash. We're making a canvas today, love this. Well, we're not making a canvas, we're painting the canvas. Because I've decided. Which is one of those days. How was everyone's week this week? My week's been majority. Okay. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to give our canvas a little bit of a good coating. And just so, and this is just to grab some texture, and also because we're going to give it a bit of an extra prime. Okay. Um. What we're going to do is, and we're just going to come and press in our piece of collage. What we're going to do then is we're going to slide this on. Okay. By doing that means we don't have to actually stick any glue underneath it. Pretty easy so far. I've only got a little bit of paint on my hands. Ooh. Would you believe? So then we're just going to come in and crunch it up a bit. With our just over top of our paper. And then what we're going to come and do is we're going to grab I found it. Well into the collage box. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and just rip these pieces as we go. So we don't want too much. Well I'm saying that now, we might end up with a lot. Who knows? Oh hello Bronnie. And then We want to make sure they kind of straddle the edge here because if it um, doesn't, I kind of forget about the edges on these thick canvases and then it takes me like an hour to go back in and add colour correctly. Oh, 
Which isn't the funnest thing, but it is what I have to do because I kind of forget. Just a bit forgetful. And then... I just want a little bit more on the side. And I am going directly out of the tub just because I know I don't have anything else but um, clean paper on my canvas. And it's good quality paper, which means the ink is not going to run from it. Which is why I can come in and do this. So we're working on a canvas tonight. I put something different. We've been in the journal with for well, quite a few months now. So I figured if we just came out and did some pink out of the journal. Did like a mini project. And yep. And then uh, 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 no, you've got to push this in here. Yeah, we'll put it in Oh hello Pam. I think this is gonna be our last piece of tissue. It's about coming in and adding layers. What we want to do is, is we want to come back in with like this terracotta colour that we've got going on in our little piece, I think. Yeah. And we we're going to kind of make it our feature. Maybe couldn't have done this before, class. No. My family are currently making dinner. So I'm just getting the plastic off of my thing because I never bothered to. But it does kind of annoy me, just like the tiniest little bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to shake this up. Good morning, Diane. I mean, afternoon, Diane. Hey. Got the wrong time of day. Oh, I forgot to take the plastic off. Sorry. So there's a piece of film in there. I'm sure I've used this before. Alright, so no paint wasted here. So we're going to come in and just add some of that there. Because we don't want to waste any of the paint. No paint wasted. And then we're going to come in and, and paint on the side here. And then there we go. We're so gonna add in 7:30 report. Finland's youngest prime minister, 34 and female. Yeah, yeah, I heard about Finland. I don't even know who the premier of Victoria is, let alone the female prime minister. Yeah, they've got the youngest prime minister ever. She got in when she was 33. Um, youngest ever female to be a part of the UN. Good. 
few stuffy people there. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Chrissy D. Oh, you did your app on my link calendar? That's great, Chrissy D. Hello, Marie. Why am I able to join? Ah, that's okay. We I was running five minutes late and I'm the teacher. That's what happens. Um, I hope you had a good day. Yeah, it's very cold here too. I feel a bit ripped off. It's the first day of summer. It's cold. No, oh, pooey that is. Real folks, what I'm going to come and do is I'm just going to casually draw some circles. And then... Just coming in. M A G E L F I E. And then coming in. And the great thing about these Tim Holtz paints is that they just spread. Like you think that they've got no more spread on them. Add some more water and they'll continue to spread for at least like another few centimeters. Oh, hello, honey, Robin. I'm using the crackle and fire one. because it kind of matched the terracotta of the paper that we're using. Um, put that one there. Yeah, that's my mum in the kitchen. He's been very loud. So you have another bowl. Anyway, that's that one. That's that layer done. And then what we're going to come and do is we're going to add in this um, tealy color, I think, back in next with a stamp. We're going to grab our Art by Marlene Mermaid colour, which is kind of similar. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to come in with our, I'm just trying to find the right stamp. I just realized that I've got the pan on my finger, but I don't have the stamp with me. So that's a bit of a interesting scenario, isn't it? Right, let's see. Where's my makeup stamp block? Oh, it's my ink lid. It's my DIY stamp block. So this is just uh, one of the stamps out of the Janine stitching stamps, which I think we've still got a few on stock. We don't exactly know. I didn't look any of the stuff up before I started teaching tonight. It's like I'm making a canvas. So with the stamping on a canvas, you want to have a hand or something solid behind where you're going to stamp it. So then, like, kind of so it's bulging a bit. So then it's got a hard surface to stamp on. Because without that, it doesn't stamp real nicely. And you get a bit, like, mm, it becomes a bit yucky. The other choice you've got is to stamp it on the edges, see? And we're just going to come in and try and get rid of all the extra paint on that one. The This set also that includes the mermaid colour in it from the Art by Marlene also suits the advent calendar. Uh, so if you are doing the advent calendar this year, I highly suggest it. All colors like it and then we're just going to come in and do a bit more of our 
scraping. And then I'm going to stick that one in there so then the paint doesn't stick to my stamp too much and I'll wash it up after class. This is a bit of a cheats method for me. Okay, and then what we're going to come and do is we just need to stamp down like a background stamp, I think, and a nice um, solid black. So, let me just grab my... There we go. And then... I'm just going to use this clock one because I do like it. And to tell you the truth, I didn't open up my stamps box, and stamps box and have a look in it before I started class. So I'm giving it a pretty good coverage. Oh, I just used gesso. And that was so then we could get this grungy effect and like it's blending into the background of our um, canvas. So like it's all one layer. That's how I did the... Um, that effect. So I just used gesso as the glue tonight. Nothing else but gesso. And then we're gonna put our clocks there, I think. Oh, we forgot to do the hand thing. The ink dried a bit. I don't think that was going to work anyway. That's okay. I wasn't too sold on that idea anyway. If something doesn't work, just move on to the next thing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to re-forge this circle here because I kind of lost it a little bit when I did that um, clock thing. Really, you want to go find some Jarvis? Yeah. And then. No, we don't put that in. Oh, later. Wrong. Not for wrong. And then I wonder why Mum's going to finish cooking in the kitchen at this point. That was very reassuring, Dad. <laughs> Okay. So now we're up to the step where I think, well, what type of gesso? Just um, plain, ordinary, mark, mark gesso. I just, yeah, I used it. And then I think. Oh, Siri, Doctor. I think it would be damn well correct. All right. And then uh, I'm going to try and suck up to mom for some reason. Who knows what she wants? Probably chocolate. Okay. Or ice cream. So here we go. So we got our alcohol inks. I think I'm going to use this champagne. I was thinking about using um, an alcohol ink stream or the ginger one, but I've already got the terracotta. Can I teach, please, without any background noise for once? Right. Um, I was going to use this one, but we've already got the colour in there from the Crackling Campfire paint. So, and we've already got the teal, but I was thinking of a champagne or that one. Who knows? We'll see. Might stick with this one here first and then do this one. It's very good. Okay. With the things that you snitched. I didn't snitch these this year. Actually, it was 2019. Okay, and then what we're going to come and do is we're just going to put a few, uh, I think only three dots. Well, I hope you weren't attached to both suns because I feel like you're going to lose one. And then hopefully she waits until after the live. 
Then what we're going to try and do is draw like lines coming out of our champagne alcohol ink and this is just to like give it some direction So the line's just giving us a little bit of a direction up. And then what we might come and do is that there and then add some of our blending solution. And then where's our cloth thing? Let's retry this, shall we? Okay. And we're getting a faint ghost clock stamp. There we are. Oh, that looks nice. Just to add a bit more texture to it. So I'll show you what that looks like now. Let me just lift it up. So as you can see, it's given a bit like of a ghost print around our thing. And go. And just adds that extra layer to it. And I think we will need to come back with some gesso before we do our next alcohol ink colour. So make sure you have a well ventilated area for your alcohol inks. Um, you're wearing gloves if you have sensitive skin. No heat tools because it'll set on fire. No naked flames, as Julie pointed out to me the other day. Yeah, the heat tool's okay. There's no the limit. Better to avoid. Oh, if you use a paint stripper heat tool from like avoid. Store, don't use that. Set it on fire. Yeah. So maybe let's just say don't use a heat tool. That's what I was saying. Right. Let's just come back in and reforging some of our. I'm doing some over the what was originally. I know that's why I'm using it. I'm scared of my scripty stamp until we get back in stock, which I hope is soon. Oh, I've lost it. Even one. There we go. And then, oh, I can really smell the alcohol like now. Whoa. Yes, please. We just talked about how we needed a ventilated area, and we're not in a ventilated area currently. I don't care. I just use alcohol ink. I don't want to die. Huh. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello, Chloe. Yep, no. I'm going to turn the fan on. Not yet, anyway. Now, what we're going to come and do is, is we're actually going to use our normal alcohol ink and use it as like a paint. Uh, a stream. Stream. Mm hmm Just a heads up, because it's an ink, it will bleed. So 
So we're using one reload for every flower. And that just saves us from having too much ink in one small cluster. And then Go and then I think we're gonna come and do some dots over here as well, maybe. along here because we have to do everything in threes as we know. Odd numbers work better. And make sure you give that a good clean out. And don't use a brush that you absolutely love. What we're going to come and do is we're actually going to come and reform our character circle again. Yeah. We keep losing them. Don't worry too much, it won't. Um, Night smells and privately texting me about Christmas. What's for dinner? I think it's lemon chicken. I believe it's lemon chicken. Okay, then what we're going to come and do is we're actually going to heat tool this canvas for the first time tonight and then we're going to come in and add our next one. Oh, these have a lemon chicken too. Yep, and it's really pretty. Mm. Enjoy that the rain. Okay, so we're just drying this to be touch dry. We don't want it to be fully dry, just touch dry, you know? And now what we want to do is we want to so 
um, do some stenciling. But like, look at the small canvas. We want a nice and small pattern. Nothing too big. Maybe we might do. Let's have a look at what I've got here. Oh, well, I'm just looking nice. Let's come and do some numbers. Some numbered up numbers. What can we do is I reckon we put it. Okay. Guessing that's a no go there. Hope you won't rely on that, Dad, for our lunch tomorrow. And then we can't come and do. This is just with our Lindy's mist. Spray that one. There we go. Spray that one more. And flip them over. Stamp the rest of the ink along that way. Um, there we go. Well, hello, Diane. Me. Gonna come and add some teal triangles, and I know you guys are probably sitting there going, Why is she adding more teal? And we just added blue, but it's okay. Very teal. Yeah, we'll add some more color in a minute. Yeah, it tastes terrible. Gotta have lots of one color, so then we can come back in with another. What's that? It's all a balancing act. This is uh, beautiful. Thanks. I'm not making this speed up or anything. Mm -hmm. Did you show them? No, I started to destroy it. You started to destroy it. He was eating it before he got out here. Yeah. He started to destroy his lemon chicken. There you go. It looks good, sweetie. Yeah, one okay. We are nearly at the point of making mud, but we'll be fine. Yeah, well, you gotta pull back and stop and let it dry, remember? Mm. Let it dry, let it dry. Seems optional. And then I'm gonna turn my phone to silent. Sorry. My university friends have just decided to start chatting after three months of dead silence. Someone's birthday must be coming up again. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Will you also write this down here on the counter, Mary? Mm, I think so. I don't know. You're not going to be that long? I don't know. I'm doing a canvas. <laughs> Oh no, an explosion. Right, we'll replace it with my one. Yeah, we'll like, 
Yep. Just like mine. Okay, here we go. So then we're going to come in. I'm just going to come in with some white gesso on our finger. And just rub it so then it becomes a bit opaque. I'm going to come in with our words here. Mm. That ain't gonna work. Just try and cheat. Yeah, we'll be back in less than 12 hours. Okay, teach another class. Can you hear my. Can you see my excitement here? It's down there. I'm just a bit tired. Will I spoil the surprise for anyone that Watch the advent calendar class. Yeah, we might spoil the surprise next week. Right, so I'm just rubbing this in because I want these to be kind of faint. The idea is that they blend in. Okay. Oh. Like that, that looks quite nice. It's also so then if they're like not completely 100% straight, it doesn't matter. Oh, pretty right, actually. The advent calendar class, right? So now we've got that. Yeah, I do think we need to add in the purple back in, and then we might be done. Mm. Something that's like really bright and out there. We might do a splash. of either orange or green, maybe green. Are you in green, Dad? A bit of a green can, aren't you? Pardon? That's what I am tonight. You are tonight? <laughs> you looking dark green or light green? What are we feeling? Dark green might make it a bit too dark. Maybe light green, I don't know. I do think I have another green here. I have a neon green, but that's definitely not going to work. That's just going to I do have this glitter green, but I don't have much of it. But it does look nice. How's your class going, right? Oh, pretty good. The light green, you reckon? Yeah, we'll use the light green mix with this one, because I don't have a lot. So what we're going to come and do is we're just going to come and put it where we want the splash to be, and I think I want it to be here. This is why I don't get attached to any of my paintings. Because this is probably going to cover up 50% of the work we just did. Yep, it's book green. So we're going to close that one. So I have a preference to keep my white gesso white. And then we're going to grab our blending brush. Dunk it in that water. Wet our paint. Come in and just go. I think I got that on Dad's desk then. It's not an exact science. Then I'm just going to come in and there's just this bit of a thicker patch here. So we're going to paint it on the side. Get a few drips and drabs. I didn't cover up most of it. It's gone actually quite transparent, which is really nice. And what we might do is we might just get our fan brush and some of our white paint. Just do some nice little white flakes. 
can grab a detail paintbrush. Add some fun little struts. What brand of paint that is used? Distress. Delusions. It's the good of paints, I believe. Okay, and then I'm going to leave that one in there actually so it doesn't get too dry. And now I'm just trying to see if it needs anything else. Mm. Like, let's dry it and I think I might ink it. And you'll see what I mean by inking it. We want it to be really dry. So we're going to be here for a few moments. It's nearly dry. Um, I just suggest the Pine Ordinary White Gesso because I find that the Texture Gesso can sometimes leave a, a few clumps and the clear stuff um, isn't as thick as the white so if you were to use it as a glue you could only use it on like paper um things like if you I, I don't know but i know it just kind of gets clumpy okay. um if you use anything that's not like paper with it it's it's a bit odd and it's not a hundred percent opaque it's more of like a translucent effect so that's why i like just plain ordinary white gesso um it's nice and thick so if i wanted to use it a glue it's 100 percent reliable and um it's not like i can water it down to be translucent i can add paste to it to make it texturized and i can stick anything down with it so yeah you can use it as a white paint and glue um a stencil, a primer, a sealer, pretty much anything. 
So I'm just going to come in with my ink pad. This is not my mom's, by the way. This is mine. I definitely suggest leaving it to dry at home before doing this step. But we have like heat tooled it, so it's not too bad. Yeah, that's the bit that was going to be bad. I knew that bit was going to be bad on my ink pad. Can you get me a cloth, Dad? Or a piece of paper towel? It's just about adding to the grunginess of it. And then what we're going to come and do, get all that paint off on a piece of paper towel. Okay. Cleaning pad. And then what we're going to do is we're actually just going to come in with our finger. Just add a bit of white. And a few spaces. Yeah, it's a quick and easy effect to apply something like highlights your texture a bit. And just Come back in and rubbing some of our colours in a few spots. Not too much for us. We lose the black and its effect, but And what we might do is, is we'll just grab our words again and one, is that happy or happiness? That was happiness there. And my happiness is back up. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to grab our sponge again. We're just going to come in and redo these words here. Just a little bit. We still want them to be kind of like a ghost print, but not 100%. And this is just with the um, Mark Metallic. Thank you. Right, and then oh shoot, we had that on on it. It's okay. And then what the bronzes does, it sits really nicely on our teal. I'm just gonna come and add some of this mermaid slash tealy color over and up on the green here. And then we're just gonna dry it. I promise we're almost done. It just takes a few levels of paint to get it right. So as you can see, there's multiple layers in there. drying it because then what we're going to come and do is we're going to come in with um, 
Okay. I'm gonna come in with a lavender pastel pen. I do like these pastel pens. And this is just to bring that lavender back in that we can kind of see in the background still. I'll lift it up so they can see what I'm doing. And we're just drawing some more parts. So I might not show it because it's a little bit wet. There we go. And I think that might be us done. So you can see a quick canvas. We did the sizes we went. So they look just as grungy as the front, but they're not fully covered, which gives the effect of the grunge on the sides. Um, if we were to fully paint them and then to come back in and make them grungy, it would just take away from the front and it wouldn't look that way because they would be fully covered so by looking as it's stripped onto the sides and adding that black in and smudging it all as we went with our very wet hands it's made that all happen so that is look these eight by eight ones are great because you can actually put your hand inside and just spread your fingers out you can hold it like that so you can hold it close to your face or you can put it back down the table really easily but it's really simple i like these eight by eight ones oh, right, good and i think all we need to do is sign our name and then we'll be done because i just remembered i forget to sign my name i think i have to sign my name still on an artwork that i'm sending in to a competition and i just remember that i haven't signed do that. okay so Mar marie said it looks terrible <laughs> she says yeah, yeah Alan said she loves the project. Thank you. Cheryl said it's fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah, that was the ink pad technique. So yes, thank you all for... Clean your ink pad up. Yes, yes, that's the... Show them how to do that with the paper towel. So yes, thank you all for coming. And I shall see you, if you're doing the out the Marlene advent calendar, we shall see you tomorrow morning at 7am Queensland time, bright and early. I would have been already up two hours by then, sadly. And um, if not, then we'll see you tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. Queensland time for Mum's Friday Night Live. I do not know what we're doing. I believe she made a decision yesterday and I was grabbing, so I should know, but um, I do not remember. So thank you all for coming and I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.